So what's going on toxic gamers? It is over guys. What else can I say man? It is over Cheating on console, you know DMA cheats. We had the homie swag just the other day the, the homie Z-Laner He was caught a while ago, right? The homie swag ass Activision to be on the Diddy list on oh, stream What I mean by the Diddy list is like the white list, you know what I'm saying? Bruh. It, it's just crazy like the video if you think that we deserve to play FPS games without cheaters on it Dislike the video if you love cheaters I wanna know where you guys at. Shout out to the homie Call of Shame, wait for it, roll it. There's nothing worse than a Warzone streamer. They're a complete waste of space, social outcasts, and work shy gremlins. These people contribute nothing to society, apart from a bad. He got a webcam on his pointed at his BBC? What? What the what what am I looking at? What the hell? And he's using he's using Sweat Duma 3.0. What what is that? VPN? What the hell? Attitude. For Why years, this channel has always stated, using a VPN is cheating. We have constantly tried to tell them, boosting into other countries, to play oh, against man. the local tribe children, from Tristan da Cunha at 3am is disgraceful. These overweight, underworked and asymmetrical faced streamers, have always tried to claim that if you are honest, and admit to cheating with a VPN, it's somehow allowed. But this is not the case, and these streamers have all been cheating. Yo! Shots fired! Shots fired at the homie! Not that's Captain BBC. The shots fired at the homie! Blame truth! What? Yo! But at least he's honest, though. At least he's honest. Uh, if you don't get the gist, apparently the homie blamed truth. Uh, he claims that he uses a VPN, but he's very honest in his videos about using it. Uh, he uses it. People uses it. Uh, suckers use it because they want to get rid of the skill-based matching and, and all that. But apparently, according to Activision, it's true. It is considered cheating as well yeah but of course there are different degrees to cheating some people use the thick ticks other people call activision to be on the diddy list you know what i'm saying just like the homie face swag uh, who said that he never even heard of a radar hack but he heard of the diddy list though he called activision to get on the diddy list the other day that was crazy man tending to be a good player earning fake subscriptions and donations from simpletons is fraud ricochet have had enough and stand firmly with the call of shame channel Using a VPN is not allowed, and never has been. This oh something my, my Guardian anti-cheat focused heavily on. I focused on VPNs designed for geofencing, and not a VPN designed for privacy. Okay. Ricochet have now told these streamers, stop using a VPN. So, the homie also came out with his VPN, but that is to only bypass skill-based matchmaking? Damn, damn. Okay, so that's like... Uh, cheater, cheater free VPN, okay, alright. And stop boosting. These streamers have been trying to justify two boxing, and claim if you are honest about it, it's fine. Now, after the ricochet announcement, they are all punching the air. Once again, this channel and you the community, stood up and said no more. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this oh is a victory. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, are we even allowed to show that? What? That's a mustache. To try and get some testosterone credibility. That is not a mustache. It's just puberty blocker side effects. All those streamers are taking them. It's gross. It's an undeveloped mustache caused by a lack in testosterone. These streamers are just scammers. Let's call this for what it is. Is that the one that purchased Lula? Yes. This idiot has not even played Black Ops 6. And the new Warzone map has only been out less than 24 hours. Yet this guy already has his fake scam videos already built. Are you looking for the best mouse and keyboard specific Warzone Black Ops 6 settings? Well, you've come to the right place. Rolling on the screen now is a quick preview of all of my Black Ops 6 Warzone settings okay. from the perspective of a Warzone Pro. If you don't right. have time to watch the full video, it's okay. Or if you're just looking to get into the action quickly, feel free to pause the video right now to find a perfect... We're going to pause it right here. Where is the class setup? Where is the class setup? Where is the class setup? Man, that is crazy. So the game came out and he did not play at the point at that time, right? He did not play, but had the class setup ready. Bumble Cloud, brother. Perfect settings for you without having to watch the rest of the video. If you want to find the perfect sensitivity for you, however, or just yeah. detailed explanations on why I choose certain things over others, Warzone feel Pro. free to watch the end of the video. This guy has Warzone not even Pro. played Black Ops 6, <laughs> yet is already level 55. <laughs> What? Activision are what? so desperate to have the streamers involved. They even pay them just to compete. You don't even need to- How is that possible though? How is that possible? You- you exaggerating? You capping or- No, did he? No, did he? Say- say psych! Say psych! Facts? Or uh... Or perhaps he let somebody else play on his account? That's what I was assuming. Or did Activision like gave him that account? Or leveled him up? 
I don't know about that one. He must have played though, like to be honest. Uh, if not, then that is a. Uh, that is some Delulu stuff like the kids would say nowadays. To win. Is guaranteed money just for playing, all right? So we might as well play. You know what I'm saying? Just for playing. No, it I'm wasn't saying. too long ago that Huskers was caught using a VPN during a tournament in an attempt to steal prize money from other streamers. Love Even that. Diaz Biffle quit the tournament in protest. These streamers oh, show it. no integrity, not even among themselves. <laughs> yeah, we're playing one game to get as many kills as possible, and we're going against Joe. And what Ryan. the fuck? <laughs> what was it? Tranquilo, point papi. 0.69, 0.77, oh! 0.79, oh! 0 0.77, oh! 0 0.87. What the fuck? Hey, I need a fucking. I, 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 need, I need a fucking. What's, a Geo thing on him. Let me show it on my stream. So, when someone tells you they use a VPN or two bot- BOMBOCAD! <laughs> the client is running the anti-cheat or has failed the anti-cheat authentication. BOMBOCLAB BROTHERS! Seem to get easy lobbies. Let me sum that up in a nut- I am strong, I am independent, I am dad's little princess. I am dad's little princess. Men are always wrong, men are always just manipulating! Show. It's like getting beaten up at school by someone your own age. So you go sum that up in a nutshell. It's like getting beaten up at school by someone your own age. So you go home and take out your frustration by beating up younger, disabled what? kids in wheelchairs while you're still in a wheelchair yourself. Using no. a VPN in Call of Duty is considered cheating because some players, including streamers, exploit it to manipulate matchmaking systems. They geofence to regions with less skilled players, or connect to servers in less populated areas. That's a homie swag though. Yeah, the other day he called Activision to be on the Diddy list, right? Uh, the white list. Because he got shadow banned by Activision on a stream because the anti-cheat thought that he was cheating. So they uh, then he called up Activision and he was like, hey, hey, like, I thought I was on the white list. So he had that Bobby Poff moment. Bobby Poff is the guy who called out Activision. Uh, shout out to Bobby Poff. Love it. Yeah. Damn. Even the Captain BBC from Assassin's Creed don't have an 18 incher, but okay, uh, Bobby Poff apparently does. So that was Bobby Poff, right? From I believe two, three years ago at this point, he used to call out Activision, and then he advanced to be put on a diddy list okay <laughs> now bobby pop is also on the white list by activision and he doesn't call out activision like that crazy man crazy so uh, the homie swag also called out uh it called activision and uh then he was put on the white list so all is good in the hood right now like connecting to third world countries at off peak hours filling games with bots this circumvents matchmaking giving them an unfair advantage to farm easy wins or boost stats which completely undermines the integrity of the game for everyone else. I, I want to show you guys this one here. So Aiden humiliated by CDL players in Black Ops 6 role. Bad day. You can always count on the low IQ unemployed Warzone streamers to brighten it up. The streamers have been caught two boxing recently in Black Ops 6. Yeah. They're getting ripped apart in skill based matchmaking. Mm -hmm. These so-called Warzone pros got taught a lesson on how to play multiplayer. These Warzone wannabe pros got absolutely slammed, and it's been years since I've seen anyone beaten so bad. Bar a little weak, busy. Uh, pillar and bar two to do three. Bar, bar two, yep, one dead. One. Nice one, one more. Uh, for red pillar. Yeah, money. Uh, bar. Oh, nice. Bar weak. Guys, guys, come on. Okay. Uh, bar, 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 bar. It didn't take long before they turned multiplayer into smoke zone. These absolutely horrible newbies are trash without throwing smoke. The entire thing was just embarrassing. I mean, I mean, brother trying to get the knife kills, right? Brother trying to get the knife kills, so I guess this is how it is. Right? Aiden was beaten so bad, he tried to use a tactical knife to try and make light fun of the situation. But his chat Ooh, were not impressed, okay, okay. as they continually called him out for playing like a bot. Uh, time got me pushed too. At first glance, one might assume the CDL players were boosting, but this is not the case. The Warzone streamers are just trash at Black Ops 6, and that's a fact. Huskers, Aiden, Symphony, and TP. Yo. Fact. Uh, top cat, top cat, top cat. 
all of them are on the Diddy list, right? Like by Activision. Yeah, Doom top pot, Doom top pot. The white list, the white list. On a dead. I got it. insane, bro. He's pulling out the knife now. Ah, one shot. Landing time. There you go. They started to Man. humiliate the wall zone streamers. Nice. Same energy. <laughs> oh man. Ow! Ah, Get him off! Get him! Call the UAV! Call the UAV! Call the UAV! You, you, you really want me to call the UAV? You're you sure about it? Alright. Frowning There you go, man. I called the UAV, man. Friendly UAV online. Friendly UAV inbound. Yeah, Wait. pillar, pillar, pillar. You gonna hop time? Good work. Don't worry, guys. UAV online. Guys. UAV. Oh my god. <laughs> UAV. Tip dead. Top pillar, top pillar, bullet. The CDL pros are so far ahead now. They were just toying with them. It just goes to show how far away the CDL is from Warzone. Mm. They should never be compared. <laughs> hey, yo! Say psych! Say psych! Say psych right now! Nice! On it, on it! Oh! Stop that pool! Stop that pool! Stop that pool! Stop that pool! There we go! I think they should allow this thing in the CEO. Good night, mom. I love you. I'm not sure if you're talking. That's dark boy. Let's skip it to that. He tried again to regain some dignity by teaming up with Mutex, but they got slapped again. Needless to say, these Warzone players are an absolute joke. So CD of players wow, just yeah, are up? terrible. CD, CDL players were dunking on them big time, right? Speaking? And I read that comment like somewhere. And I'm not sure if this is true or not, but I read that comment in the, the video. Let me see if it was here. Let's uh, scroll it here. Uh, 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 uh. The guy said, I was reading the comments where a guy said, Activision has banned Scump or something like that from uh, these tournaments. And Scump is considered to be one of the, the best players, right? Like I read that somewhere. Uh, in the video, Aiden, I'm a gamer, I came from, uh, one guest says that I come home from work, made dinner, started my PC, and the first thing I see is a new Call of Shame video. This evening can't be ruined. <laughs> Yo. But I read that comment, I can't seem to find it right now, but let me Chewing. see. Oh. Yeah, I see what you're talking about, about the, like the flash. Oh yeah, just found it, just found it. So this guy says this, let me actually make sure you guys can fully see. I gotta zoom out like there. The fact that they banned Scump from Black of Six, uh, Black of Six tournaments because he isn't allowed to beat up on these cheaters says it all. I don't know how true that is because everybody in the replies is like, yo, they banned him? F, this is hilarious. Uh, yeah, I had that I had that same reaction too. Like, I don't believe that, but if that is true, then holy crap, man. There is no such thing as a Warzone Pro. Please remember that. Warzone but Pro, there are Warzone such Pro. things as Warzone Hoes, but we will get to that in a minute. These streamers are a stain on humanity. Absolutely useless. They have all Chill. been openly boosting, also Chill. known as two boxing. And they have been doing this for months to avoid the skill-based matchmaking, while claiming to be Warzone professionals, and the best in the world. Some of the female streamers, have been exposed in some shameful I am that little princess. Men are always wrong. I am strong. I am independent. Men are always just manipulating. You are toxic. You are problematic. I'ma go get a BBL right now. I'm a queen. Yes, queen. Behavior. <laughs> Natasha was back banned by the Valve anti-cheat some time ago for downloading cheat software. This was discovered as she connected to the servers and was permanently banned and chased out of the Counter-Strike community by professional CSGO players. Natasha, a female streamer from Canada, has been engaging in Warzone prostitution. She has been offering her services to her clients in exchange for clients. Services? What kind of services? Out for clients. She has been offering her services to her clients in exchange for clout. Her clients, normally men, have been using her to search for games 
to enter easy lobbies for high kill Twitter claims. The streamers are using her to boost into easy lobbies so they can break world records by shooting people that don't shoot back. Mm. Many of the females are now engaging in this activity, and Treyarch are of not course. happy. There are now rumors that accounts are now starting to face penalties, and rightly so. Treyarch has delivered several updates to combat disruptive behavior including enhanced AFK detections to battle against account boosting, adjusting the ping thresholds to require players play matches in their regions to cut down on VPN abuse. Damn, so they're on to that? Well, okay, understandably, man, because Sikas always be using uh, VPNs and getting triple uh, triple nukes and be like, yo, let's go, man, triple nuke, triple nuke. There are streamers getting triple nukes and people believe that it's, that it's real. Imagine that. In the year 2024, triple nuke per match? Come on, man. Yeah. Once or twice, okay, but like all the lobbies, come on, man. But guys, check out this video on the screen because he recently was called out. He was caught as well. We have the Nick Marks drama, the swag drama, Dr. Disrespect drama in this video. Check it out and I'll see you right there.